Hey, what's going on guys? It's Greg Jones with Engine Builder. Today we are in Gainesville, Georgia at Atlanta Speed Shop, I'm joined by Skylar Hawkins. And this right here is his supercharged 427 LS and it's our engine of the week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade One and Elring Goss Original. Skyler, hey. pleasure to meet you, man. You too. Thanks for giving us a little bit of time. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've been checking out the shop and all the cool stuff you guys do here. And this right here is your personal LS build. Sure is. This thing looks pretty sweet. Uh, I understand it's going in a drag and drive application That's ultimately. Right. Uh, you're just waiting on the supercharger and a couple of final things, but we'd love to know a little bit more about the build. So just kind of start with, you know, why you wanted the engine in the first place and, and we'll go from there. Yeah, so I had a uh, fifth gen Camaro and uh, I blew the motor up in it. Oh, it's one of the first motors I built yeah. and, uh, you know, I've been sitting on this thing for like maybe two years and I've always wanted to do drag and drive, but, you know, I work in the engine industry, so I might, might as well kind of go all out, right? Yeah. So what we got here is a, uh, it's a 427 LS space engine. It's a Dart SHP Pro block with a Dart billet crank. It's got a black label mast heads. They're 305 LS7 ported style heads, full CNC. And it's gonna get a uh, Whipple four and a half liter blower on it. Yeah, awesome, awesome. All right, so Scott, like you said, it's a 427 cubic inch engine. Uh, what's kind of like the bore and stroke setup? Yeah, here? so it's a four 125 bore, four inch stroke. It's a 9.2 compression. Mm -hmm. All right, you mentioned the, the Dart uh, billet crank in there. How about some of the other rotating assembly parts? Yep, so it's got a boost line rods in it. It's got diamond pistons and, uh, you know, cleavite bearings everywhere. Okay. Very good. All right, then you, get, you got the mast heads up top. How about some of the valve train components and the camshaft? Yeah, so we can actually take one of these off. Oh, so yeah. bolted. So it's got an all Jessel solid roller cam. Nice. It's a custom grind from Cam Motion. Okay. It's a, a 155 or 255, 275, 119 plus four. Very good. So she wants to high RPM, like yeah. at like 8,000 is what we're gonna try to spin if the blower will allow it. Okay, very cool. Yeah, that's up there. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, then how about some of the other uh, valve train components here? Yep, so we got a Manly uh, push rods. They're uh, 7 sixteenths and uh, pack springs, mm -hmm. titanium yeah. retainers. Looks like some, some Jessel uh, valve train right. components as well. All Jessel, this is their custom offset for the mast heads. Okay, very good, very good. And then we got RCD on the front too, secure drive. Yeah, no, the front of the engine's looking awesome as well. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about you know what else you got here as well, let's see the dry sump yep, we got system. Peterson, it's a four stage R4 pump. This is their, uh, what they call their drag racing line. It's the bigger size pump. And uh, we got RCD in the front, um, you know, just trying to overbuild it, you know? Yeah, yeah, very good. All right, and Skylar, ultimately what kind of car is this going into? This is going in a fifth gen Camaro, 2011. Okay. And uh, it's spec'd out, it's got a roll cage and everything and it's ready to go fast. Yeah, awesome. All right, so drag and drive stuff obviously become pretty big in the last five, six years here. Yeah. Um, so talk a little bit about why you wanted to get into it and well, uh, what you know, the expectations are going to be. We've always seen the videos and, you know, we're in the racing industry. We go racing with Julius's top fuel car. Yeah. And, you know, I kind of wanted something on my own. And, you know, why not this? It's pretty cool. I always yeah. thought, you know, a fast car is cool if you can drive it on the street, right? Absolutely. So that's kind of the goal. We're yeah. shooting for, uh, you know, like, eight fives in okay. the quarter mile. Yeah, yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. And then what kind of street manners will the car ultimately have? Like, is there anything special you guys will have to watch for or should well, it be pretty good? It's, I'm thinking it'll be all right. It'll, it'll be a little rowdy, but yeah. it's manageable. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, mid eights, that's that's uh, mm -hmm. not too slow. That's that's <laughs> moving. Yeah. All right, and then, we, you know, we don't want to leave out the supercharger. Um, so uh, obviously that's not here yet, but yeah. Can you just talk a little bit about what you guys are going to be doing there? Yeah, so it's a four and a half liter Whipple. Um, we're trying to try to shoot for a 30 PSI. That's kind of pushing it on that blower, okay. but uh, that's the goal with it. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. And then ultimately about how much horsepower do you think this engine uh, is going to be? At the wheels, probably 14, 1500. Okay. Pretty solid. Yeah. Pretty solid. 
Skylar, anything else about the LS that we're leaving out or just anything else about what you're doing with the Camaro? Mm, no. Yeah? <laughs> All right. Well, like I said, this thing is uh, looking awesome and I'm sure you're psyched to get it oh, yeah. put together and uh, ready for some racing this year. Sure am, yeah. yeah. Well, Skylar, appreciate the time. Thank Thanks you. for telling us about it. Guys, that's been this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out everything that Skylar and the team here at Atlanta Speed Shop are doing. And as always, make sure you're checking out EngineBuilderMag.com for more awesome engine content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hey, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to tell you about Find a Builder. It's a new microsite on EngineBuilderMag.com that's great for both engine shops and for potential customers looking to get engine work done. If you're an engine builder, this site is a place where you guys can list your shop and what you guys do to potential customers through EngineBuilderMag.com. It's an easy subscription-based microsite that'll let you guys connect to a new audience. And if you're a potential customer looking to get engine work done, this is a source to help you guys find a shop that's in your area or one that specializes in the type of engine work that you're trying to get done. Make sure you guys are checking out Find a Builder on EngineBuilderMag.com. Thanks.